Canberra Metalheads. The Archives. Me and you, Season 2. All right, let's kick it. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Yeah, pretty good. How are you? Good, good. Um, this is so I run a program called Canberra Metalheads, and um, yeah, I'm just calling up for yeah. the interview. So it's good to good to get on to you. Run a program in Canberra, Australia called Canberra Metalheads. Right. Um, and I'm just calling up for the interview, so I'm glad to uh, glad to get on to cool. you. And uh, yeah, it'd be yeah. Good. And it's six a.m. or something, six thirty maybe. Yeah. I'm sorry for having you get up too early <laughs> <laughs> no that's fine it's 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 worth it to uh you know align our time zones i'm glad that i can get on to you actually yeah um yeah so what time is it there it's um 10 30 p.m do you do a.m p.m or do you do 22 30 uh we do we do both but it's um yeah we do a.m and p.m all right yeah, we, we're a bit of a mix down here of so many different different um, standards. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, you've probably known before. Have you um, been? Have you been to Canberra before, or been to Australia? Or uh, I, I've been to Australia actually five times. Uh, I found out because I had to uh, do the uh, the visa application thing. So this will be my sixth time in Australia, but I've never been to Canberra. Oh, excellent. All right. And um, before when you were down in Canberra, was that um, with part of uh, Haunted or Witch- Witchery? Uh, it, it, this is, will be the first time that Witchery goes to Australia, so all the other times have been the Haunted. Oh, excellent. Okay. And were you uh, touring when it, with any of the other bands, such as At The Gates, um, previously? If, uh, if the Haunted or Witchery has. Have you toured with um, At The Gates as part of the Haunted before? Uh, for Australia, yes, so we we yeah we did the U.S. tour together. So we shared buses and everything, and because we share members, and you know um, uh, when they split up in '96, uh, um, I had moved to uh, to Gothenburg uh, to start a band with the drummer Adrian, and uh, he was always busy off touring with At the Gates, and then uh, one day uh, he called me saying that they At the Gates had just broken up and if we uh, if i wanted to start that new band and then the following day we rehearsed the first time and that was the first rehearsal for the haunted so we share a lot of history and and dna all three bands so it's going to be a really uh, nice trip to do together with uh, uh, just a big bunch of friends basically yeah that's good it's the uh yeah it's been advertised in australia as the triple bill kill um so it's a it's a killer lineup to to see how much you know the you get all these um well three really rad bands on one bill so any of these bands individually um it gets hyped in australia so it's cool to see all three on one same bill it'll be a great experience i'll, I'll assure you yeah that's right well, it's, it, even, it has a subheading that says like three bands four nights sweden takes over <laughs> Every, everyone's getting excited I- <laughs> that's cool. Um, and actually, Canberra's the first night on the bill, so um, that's at the basement on the twenty fourth of April. Um, I've been going to the basement for years, and it's awesome to have at the gates, um, the haunted and witchery all playing at in one venue, which is really really cool. I know that. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I, I know people that have actually traveled traveled international to see. Um, bands like the, these these bands. Um, I've got a buddy from Sweden actually lives in Stockholm, and um, he mm-hmm. he 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 lived in Australia a few years ago, and he travels back and forth, and uh, he doesn't know what to do with himself because he, all these rad bands from Sweden are coming to Australia. <laughs> so yeah, they, yeah, you make the trip over. <laughs> <laughs> um, You've had a lot of great bands down there recently. I mean, yeah. the Slayer and that, that whole festival tour thing, and then. Uh, uh, Insomnium is in Australia right now, I think. Yeah, exactly. We there's been some rad gigs lately, and a lot of them have passed through Canberra. Usually, they'll just do the um, like the Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane um, side of things. But it's awesome to see that Canberra's getting mm. on the tour as well. Um, yeah, I mean, we we also usually play Perth, but we we aren't this time, and um, we've only played Adelaide once. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's yeah. fun. To, it, it'd be cool to play a new city. 
Oh yeah, that's it. I I know that um Adelaide tends to get um some of the um good metal gigs as well through coming through. I know that um Slayer played there um as part of their tour as well. Which um, is fitting because I I believe it's the city of churches or something. <laughs> Uh, some we we tend to ignore some of the uh some of those rules <laughs> oh. um I noticed that your in, involvement with witchery also includes um like some of the writing process as well yes i I basically write everything okay so um we you've been with witchery now for twenty years i believe witchery was formed um let's see maybe half a year before the haunted so ninety five yep and um have you obviously um doing some some writing and also with the latest albums some of the um some of the uh lyrics as well as the the guitars um yes i i i i basically write everything excellent and how how do you find the dynamic between the two bands where like where you're playing guitars for the haunted and then also with witchery you've got like um you got songwriting lyrics and guitars yeah well um with witchery it's um you know, Haunted is a, a bigger band, so there's more expectation there. And there's also uh, two other main songwriters. So I need to get past uh, them as well when I present a, a riff. And, you know, I think we, um, um, the Haunted and Witchery have maybe 15, 16 albums between them. So, you know, eventually you will stumble upon writer's block or, you know, you, you, you feel that you're done, that you can't come up with anything new. So I always uh, tend to, um, in my mind, I'm always writing for witchery because witchery is more of a, you know, it, um, you know, it's thrash metal, black metal. It yep. can be some uh, entombed in there. It can be some even heavy metal. Yeah. So uh, there's it's an open play field. It's like my own little musical playground if you will so uh, there's uh, a lot uh, less um, risk of uh, developing the writer's block so i write for witchery and every three or four witchery riffs uh, i write i eventually end up with something that sounds like the haunted so i get one riff for free for uh, the haunted yeah. And that's how I've always uh, approached writing for the two bands. Oh, excellent. Uh, that's good Good to uh, hear the difference in, in between those two dynamics. So with the, um, the obviously, the dy- the difference between um, The Haunted and, and Witchery, um, do you find that perhaps that's different with uh, stage performance as well? Do you, uh, Is there anything that you change up when you play live between the two bands? Well, we have a little bit more of the stage theatrics. I mean, uh, uh, our first singer with uh, witchery, we he was a uh, you know, you know, Tuxine was a, a vampire hunter of sorts. So he had you know this, uh, you know, wooden stake in his belt and a hammer and you know that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's something that Marco in the haunting would never ever do. Uh, so yeah, there is a difference between the bands, I, I, definitely. Uh, yeah, I like the um, I like to hear the difference between two. It's obviously interesting having um, two touring bands as well, um, traveling um, with because you're traveling with both and obviously shared members and stuff. Uh, you said that you're uh, close. You know, you share when you tour. It's easy to easy to share things. H- how do you find um, traveling around with the band? Do you guys all sort of um, you know travel in, in mass- masses, or do you tend to keep separately? Well, you know, when we do tours, it's always tour buses or, you know, airplanes. So it's, we always stay together. We've never had any, uh, you know, conflicts in the band. We're not on the Guns N' Roses level quite yet. <laughs> so everyone, we're good friends and, you know, we, we keep a level head. And, you know, we're in it for the music. We're, we're, you know, I think uh, those things are maybe more common if there's a lot more money involved or you know there, there can be a, a range of different uh, reasons to why you know uh, bands don't work out you know the friendships yeah yeah uh, but uh, that hasn't happened to us so fortunately excellent man well um it definitely shows with the music the tight the tight knit of um you know the um amalgamation of all the all the all of the um the lines and riffs coming together um well 
and uh, yeah, I, I really like the sound, and I'm ex- really excited for the uh, for the tour. Uh, me too. I'm very excited. So two weeks now, then then we're off. Yeah, that's exactly right. And uh, yeah, we're we're all hanging out. You, you, you're in Canberra, and you said that that was the first show, so you're going to get the raw experience as well. Absolutely, man. We're really excited about that. Yeah. And um, it just so happens that we usually get the first tour, and it always works out really good um, for us. So it goes from yeah. us not usually having as many um, big bands coming through up like three, four years ago up to now where you mentioned before we're getting bigger bands come through. And um, we also, not only that, we cop the first um, the first uh, gig off the tour. So that's a bonus. Definitely. Before we close up, there was two albums that came out um, in 2017, both from The Haunted and Witchery. Do you have a preferred song from, from both of them? I know that um, with mine, I've got yeah. um, Preachers of Death and um, from The Haunted and also uh, Welcome Night from Witchery. Yeah, uh, you prefer those songs? Uh, you I've, like them? Yeah, I like both of those songs there. I know that you you play rhythm guitar in um, in Haunted and um, I I like the undertone in the Preachers of Death with the... With the um, the rhythm there. Yeah, it's a it's a great song. We we play it uh, uh, during our live set as well. Uh, so yeah, you'll you'll get to hear it live as well. So, but yeah, uh, with Witchery, um, um, the Welcome Night song is uh, I think a very good song because it's different and it has uh, you know it has it builds up to kind of a, a climax. Yep. So I like to uh, try to uh, write songs. Uh, well, people might might say that I, I do not succeed, but I, I try to write songs uh, different so they all um, stand apart, so to say. Uh, but Welcome Night is uh, definitely uh, one of my favorite songs off that album. And so is uh, True North, of course. Okay, very good. Uh, it's good to good to get that uh, opinion and feedback as well from the from the guy that wrote it himself. So that's very humbling for us to have. Yeah. yeah so thank you for the interview and um. Perfect. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Jensen. And um. All right, mate. I look forward to seeing you um in Canberra on the twenty fourth. All right, I can't wait. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you for the interview. Thank All you. Right. Bye. Take care, man. Hi, this is Jensen from The Haunted and Witchery. You're listening to Canberra Metalheads. Yucca, yucca, bam! <laughs>